Hey guys, today I'm going to go over the different healing tools that are available on Photoshop CS5. The Spot Healing Brush is an amazingly powerful tool that allows you to create subtle effects to your image. Most commonly, it would be used to make things disappear. Let me give you an example. Click on the Spot Healing Brush tool in the toolbar, the one that looks like a band-aid. Press the letter J to access it quickly with your keyboard. Now, press and drag around a small area of interest, something that isn't connected to anything, such as this seed. It's gone. It effectively took the area you highlighted and covered it with the surrounding area, making it look like there was nothing there to begin with. It's that simple, and it's that powerful. Let's try again. See? Amazing. This is one of the most powerful tools you will have at your fingertips. It can remove or replace anything from a zit on a face to an entire building if you use it correctly. To look at the different options this tool has, take a look at the Above Options panel. When I click at the button with the dot and the number, I get a series of options. These options can change your brush size, hardness, spacing, brush angle, roundness, and even options on using the tool based on what kind of tool you have, such as a mouse or a stylus. This is especially useful for a stylus because the program will respond to your actions based on the pressure you put on the stylus pad. The modes options will give you choices and abilities to have different effects with the tool. The screen effect will slowly make the image translucent while replace will get rid of your selection altogether and replace it with the background. The other modes have different effects so give each one a try. The different types to choose from will create different effects with the tool. For example, the content aware type will replace the selection with the area surrounding it, doing its best to make the transition look seamless. Try the other types to see what they do, but the content aware mode is the most effective. The sample all layers checkmark will be effective for making changes in a multi-layer environment, especially when the layers overlap each other. Finally, the little button with the target and the pen will change your sensitivity settings to that of your stylus tool. This can be very useful for your stylus, but takes away customizing options for stylus pressure. In other words, the stylus works based on how it was designed, but not based on the settings you made for it. Thanks for watching. Please send any requests you have to requests at mahalo.com, and please be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe below.